what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to be talking about terrifier 3 in this video here today so i'm going to be going over my thoughts on the trailer i'll give a quick recap on what i saw in the trailer i'll go over this plot synopsis that just came out and we'll talk about something else for those of you who have been waiting for this moment now this trailer just dropped 30 minutes ago probably an hour ago by the time this is uploaded courtesy of bloody disgusting the trailer started with a recap of terrifier 2 we also during that had a voiceover from what sounded like the actress a actress alexa blair who was making comments about sienna surviving the most famous killer since jack the ripper seemed to be implying that this character of hers is going to be some sort of influencer of sorts there's shots of sienna hugging her little cousin who looks up to her like i've talked about in the past and her aunt she says she wants to know what it's like this this is still Alexa Blair saying she wants to know what it's like to be in the presence of that kind of evil and what goes through your brain when he's that close to you and can feel his breath. Now, we got a quick flash of Alexa and her co-star Mason getting hot in the shower before Art slashes into their fun with an axe. Sienna is shown at Jonathan's college showing major signs of PTSD all over her face and tells her brother she's sure she saw Art the clown today. We see Art arriving at the mall to sit down as Santa, but no one recognizes him and he's starting to scare the children or they're concerned about the safety of the children because they don't know who this dude is. And he just looks like an odd character as Art the Clown often does. <laughs> so glimpses of a copper shown investigating this dark tunnel. We get more voiceovers from Jonathan this time, who is doubting the return of Art and questioning Sienna's sanity. We see Vicky smash her face into a bathroom mirror. There's a quick shot of Art raising his axe and slamming it. And I think prior to that, we got a glimpse of him encountering or at least attacking the cop who was investigating that dark tunnel. Sienna's nightmare seems to be on display as well throughout this trailer. When she turns to look behind her, that fiery shot that we saw in the last teaser, we then get to see, based off how it's edited, what she turned around to look at. And it looks like we're being introduced to a very new entity of sorts that's in this nightmare and I'm, I'm trying to figure out how this nightmare is linked to what's going on with art but from what i saw it appears to back up what i was saying about her having nightmares about being chained in this dark place because i noticed a lot of chains in that instance too when she looked behind her there's a shot of chris jericho art walking down the hospital halls we get more brutality throughout from art and vicky we even get a surprise appearance from Brooke. And if you recall, Brooke was seeing his friend who died during the events of T2. So a shot of her further backs up the PTSD experience that Sienna will be dealing with during this film, since we know that Brooke is dead. Now, the most fascinating part of the trailer was Sienna acknowledging she needs to go back to the Terrifier. And Jonathan and her discussing a buried item that might be the only thing that can stop them. And by them, I'm assuming she means stopping Art and Vicky. My gut is telling me this this item holds some sort of significance to Sienna's father, but we'll see. Because unless I'm forgetting something from Terrifier 2, I don't remember them burying anything. But if I'm if it's been a while since I've watched Terrifier 2 that much, please remind me of that because I don't recall anything being buried. When they were talking about this buried item, that just piqued my curiosity. So if that's something from Terrifier 2, then I really need to revisit this because it's been a while. I don't recall them burying anything. I think this item that they're talking about though is going to be associated with the background we start to uncover and the connection between these two people sienna and jonathan their father and art the clown and how all of them are connected like i talked about there's this character that sienna's dad loved to draw when she was a kid because he was in the comic books allegedly and that character's rumored name is blaster man you're supposed to get a flashback of sienna and her father interacting and her begging him to draw some sort of character to battle blaster man and that's where this this angel warrior costume originated from that's what you're going to find out during terrifier 3 allegedly because again we haven't seen a scene of this the trailer itself does a very good job at just building upon and highlighting some gory aspects that, of what you can expect while showcasing that sienna is living in a new house she's dealing with trauma and jonathan is off at college in denial about art's return meanwhile art is just wreaking havoc we don't really see too many things i would say that are overly spoilerish because by the time we all see terrifier 3 we're gonna look back on the trailer i feel like and go this trailer was well put together and then it didn't show the whole movie because there's a lot of things we know that these people have talked about in response to hyping up the film that doesn't even seem like it's on display in this trailer so this is a well put together trailer i think the item though that they are talking about is going to be something that connects all of them together and it might have something to do with what her father was doing prior to his demise and his connection to art the clown 
What that has to do with Blaster Man, I don't know, but I think Blaster Man is going to play a factor in this as well. Could that have been the Blaster Man that Sienna was seen in that nightmare of hers where she was chained at? Who knows? I don't really recall what Blaster Man is supposed to look like, but I don't remember him being this horrific looking demon thing that we saw in this trailer. Now, here's the synopsis we got for Terrifier 3. It says, after surviving Art the Clown's Halloween Massacre, Sienna and her brother are struggling to rebuild their shattered lives. As the holiday season approaches, they try to embrace the Christmas spirit and leave the horrors of the past behind. But just when they think they're safe, Art the Clown returns, determined to turn their holiday cheer into a new nightmare. The festive season quickly unravels as Art unleashes his twisted brand of horror, pr proving that no holiday is safe. So nice little synopsis there. And if you are someone who has been anticipating this moment, check your apps. If you have Regal, if you have AMC, it would appear that tickets are now on sale. Some of you might have already known this prior to the upload, but again, this being uploaded like an hour after the trailer is dropped. But if you didn't know already, tickets are now available for you to purchase for Terrifier 3. Like I stated, I saw some listings for a double feature of Terrifier 2 and Terrifier 3 back to back four hours you have time for that go nuts i'm only going to see it once in theaters i'm also going to plan to try to see it in advance and have a review up in september during fantastic fest so fingers crossed i'll be able to do that for you guys but did you enjoy the trailer what do you think about what was highlighted in the trailer do you think the trailer showed too much what do you think this item is that they are talking about is possibly what could defeat them all I would love to know what you guys think about that item. That's the most intriguing aspect of the trailer. I love that the trailer included that at the very end too because it just piqued my curiosity. That was the most interesting thing while also giving us glimpses of all the bloodshed and gore that we can expect to see unfold while also seeing that David Howard Thornton is clearly having an amazing time still as Art the Clown. Let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, Make sure you go ahead and subscribe, turn on post notifications, you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And again, go out there, get your tickets, because it says here tickets are available on Regal, AMC, or whatever theater chain you prefer to go to. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.